Hey guys, Stephanie with Steffi Jewels, and I am so excited to finally sh make this video for you guys to share with you my brand new craft space in my brand new home. This space will change a thousand times as I just did not know how I wanted to rearrange this room. So let's get to it. So as you can see from right here, I actually have an actual room. As you can see, there's a door right there. So let's take you in the room. I do have this on a tripod, so I will try to keep this as still as possible. So let's start with the actual entrance way. So as I stated before, I do have a room now. So I actually can close that door when I'm actually in session or working. So the creative juices can stay within the room. And that way everybody who's out here can leave me alone and don't bother me. Or if I want somebody to come in, doors open. So. Right now, this is what it looks like after I did all the boxes. And as you can see in the actual pictures, you know, up here that I'm showing right now on the screen, this is how the room looked when it was empty, just completely empty space, four white walls, windows. You know, I had closet doors on there, which I will show you that here shortly, uh, how the actual doors look now. Um, I actually did paint three out of four walls. I wanted it to be pure white. Um, cause I need to make sure I have plenty of light in this room. So going back to the actual space here, as you can see right here, I only have one window. So it's not much light coming in here right now. It's about a nice little cloudy haze right now. So I don't have much sunlight coming in here. But if you remember in my other video, which I will link that in the cards above as well in the description down below that I had so much light come into that apartment. So it is a little bit different here. In the house, I don't have much light because you really can't see out there. Let me see if I can get a little closer out here. But there's a lot of homes out here. Yeah, you probably can't see because it it's glaring. But there's a lot of homes out there. So some two stories, some one story. So it will kind of block a lot of the sun that comes through. And since the way my house is, I don't get direct sunlight period into this room. So it works fine. But that's why these walls, and I'm going to show you here are completely pure ultramarine white that I painted. And I actually had a video on that, but that video got crashed on me when I tried to update some stuff. That wall right there is the only wall. I'm going to see if I can move up a little bit closer. That wall is not painted white because I don't really need that wall to be just white yet. But the other three walls are, as well as up there, I actually have two odd lights in there and I, so there's a quick little tour here on what we got going on so as you remember that is the same um board that i had in my house so i just basically stuck it in the corner as you can see it's pretty messy because i have not quite organized this desk yet um let me see if i can go down a little lower there's all my cubes that i had at the apartments and go a little bit lower so you can see that so there's the cubes i kind of have them organized a little bit and let's see if I can get a little closer here. So yeah, so there are those cubes as well as those. That's usually what I was working on the side over there. And it's kind of organized. I'm not gonna really go into detail what this is because my other videos did kind of share how I did this. I just kind of wanted you to see how I'm actually making this space a craft space now, which is not easy, you know, when you got a whole room as most of us think so, oops. Sorry, I keep doing that. It's not as easy as you think it could be because with a room, you got to have space to put everything in. And like I said, I only got four walls, but there goes all my carts that I had. You know, I still have my oven there. I do have a fan here. As, as you can see, I don't have a ceiling fan just yet, but I will be adding that in there later on. So I'm just going to use that stand away. Um, Fan right there, the Oscar fan right now. There's all of this. Uh, I wanted to share this right here. Let me come back on this side. Let me make this camera a little bit steady. Sorry, because I'm on a tripod for you guys. Um, bring it up. So that is the actual closet that's in here. And as you can see, I have no doors. I took those doors off. And the reason why I wanted those doors off because I really wanted to see what was in my closet. So, and also with the side over here and the side over here, let me 
see if I can, yeah. If the doors were there, it'll open up and take up a lot of the space from the ground and the floor here. So let me get a little closer. You can kind of see how I kind of organize I guess, this closet. I have a pretty good space closet. I was able to put a lot of my shipping stuff in this closet. So there goes my package stuff. That's got all my inventory that I have right now. Um, this space right here in the wall, I will be adding shelves to that to kind of add more um, of my actual displays on top of it as well. If I need to add more inventory space, I will have shelves for that. Up there's all my magazines and books I have, some other shipping stuff up there, mostly like my labels and USPS packages. So that's my labels right there. Um, I have a lot of my other lamps there, which I'm not sure if you saw on some other video, my other video of my craft space, when I, I have to use mostly that type of lights, which are all, those are all odd lights, by the way, or odd lamps that I'll put those descriptions down below too, as well, which is, I believe you can purchase that from Amazon. Um, but yeah, and my closet that I had in my other apartment, which was an outdoor storage closet, since I had no patio. Those are the bookshelves right there, as you can see. Those are my bookshelves and all my bobblehead collection. I just want to kind of show you, you know. And yes, those are Saved by the Bell girls. That's Jessica and Kelly and Lisa. I don't have the guys yet because they didn't have the guys on sale. Those were on clearance, which actually is kind of, you know, kind of wrong. Those the girls were on clearance, not the guys, but either way. But yeah, here's the other stuff. That I kind of just kind of just organized stuff in the closet. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me move this out the way here, so you can see this. See, there goes my other boxes. I actually had a space in the apartment on the other side of it that I kept this stuff at. So now it's nice to kind of keep it all in one area. There's all my beads and stuff at. So like I said, this space will change a couple times, and I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do it. But I wanted to share with you guys this area right here this wall right here this is an empty wall that i'm actually gonna build um a video i'm not sorry i'm gonna make a video on this on how i'm building an actual l-shaped um desk so that will be coming up here i'm actually gonna be working on that desk after this video but this wall right here and well this wall i'm gonna have it as l shape. so it's gonna be desk there and a desk here and of course above that i'm going to have shelves on top of that which that's going to also be filmed later on too but it just you know i'm doing this in baby steps right now because like i said i just got into this house so i'm really trying to organize best i can those are some inspirational um photos or pictures i found from at home you know got dream inspire create and stay happy hustle hard so I'm going to basically hang those up on the wall as well, as well as my banner that I had, Steffi Jewels, that shows my, my um, website or things, SteffiJewels.com. So I'm going to have that hanging somewhere on this wall, probably up here somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Um, until I actually get my desk built, I don't want to put too much on the wall yet. But yes, I will be adding shelving, you know, on top of that, because since I don't have much floor space, this is a, I don't have much floor space. This is a 10 by 10 room. So I just want to scroll around here, 10 by 10 room. So a lot of stuff that you kind of see right now will actually end up being up on the walls here. But like I said, I'm just baby steps right now. I just really wanted to get all the boxes, which if you see right here, these are all the boxes that I actually had when I first moved. I just kind of pulled it in here. And then this is where I was at when I was starting to put stuff at. And then going live right now, this is where I left that back. So this is where I'm organized so far. As you can see, it still needs some work to do. Like I said, um, yeah, I need to get this desk cleaned up and organized. And I do have stuff on the ground. I do need to get another trash can for this room. Um, I'm also going to have a little file cabinet over here on the side of the desk I'm going to make. And... Back to that desk, I was gonna make the L shaped desk I'm making. The reason why I'm gonna make the L shaped desk because I need a desk to work on for like business or for doing my video editing or just any type of thing. So that wall right there will be basically my actual work desk because I don't wanna be working on my actual workshop desk anymore. I wanna actually have a dedicated space to do that. So 
I'm going to have that as my actual desk. And then this wall right here is going to be basically when I have another um, ledge of a desk here. It's going to be mainly for taking pictures. So all of those actual displays right there, I'm going to probably have shelving on top of the desk I'm going to make. And this is where I'm going to actually have my pictures being taken at. Because that's why that wall is actually white, white. And actually, I'm going to see if I can actually, um, oops, yeah, show how this room will look if I turn on the odd light. So give me one second, and I'll turn that on. Not sure if you can see how brighter it's going to get in here. But yeah, when this odd light warms up, it actually will make this room a little bit brighter. So that way I still have the actual illusion that I'm in daylight. And you can see it looks like it's outside right now. It don't look like nothing changed. It's like I'm still in here. So at nighttime, this odd light, which show a little bit of it there goes, is really bright. So I hope you guys actually enjoy this little quick update tour. I hope there was a quick update tour. I didn't really want to go into too much detail, but I just kind of want to share with you guys this new update space. And I might make another video down the road too on any type of changes I make, but I just really wanted you guys to see where I was at right now because I just kind of, you know, it is different, you know, having a room now. I'm actually enjoying having this room instead of a part of my apartment. So I can basically, you know, have stuff, you know, like I can close this door when I'm recording. There's nobody here right now, so it's easy to do that. So I can close it. Which shows I'm still in business. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm working on the business. Don't not disturb. Or when the door's open, that means you can come in and talk to me. Oh, and one last thing too before I end this video. That wall, that actual door will be painted to my brand color, Steffi Jewels. So I actually bought that paint too. So I'm excited to kind of paint that. Because I kind of want to put either my girl boss sign on it. Or this little sign I have here. My little, um whiteboard that has all my important information on it, but I don't know just yet. I haven't quite decided yet, but I do know I want that actually painted with my brand colors. And that's the beauty about owning a home. You can actually do whatever you want in your house. So uh, once again, this is Stephanie with Steffi Jewels, and I really hope you enjoyed this little tour. Like I said, it's not going to be the first draft of how I keep this room. It's going to probably be changed a thousand times. But that's the beauty about having your own space now. I can change it and change it and change it until I'm happy. So once again, if you like this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell. That way you're notified every time I have another video popping up. And I hope to see you soon on my very next video. And definitely come back because I really want you to see how I actually make that L-shaped desk. And actually, I'm going to put a little sneak peek right here of what it's going to look like. I kind of want you to see that. So... This is your girl, Stephanie, Steffi Jules, and I hope to see you soon. So talk to you later. Bye.